2011 is when uh, gold corrected uh, quite significantly. This is the red one, uh, the red candlesticks here. And the other one is the S&P 500. Uh, gold started correcting much before uh, equity started selling off pretty aggressively. Uh, you know, once gold uh, sort of hit some sort of a low for that period, for that episode, S&P 500 started coming off as well. And then, uh, I mean, that's the period when the European Eurozone risks were at their peak. I mean, people were starting to talk about Greece and other things and contagion impact and those kind of things. The first time those really came to the fore. So the question is, uh, what is what is coming this time, Ajay? You want to take that? I don't know if you had a chance to. I mean, you heard me, but I don't. I, I don't think. I don't know if you had a chance to see these charts. Go on. No, I didn't have. I, I heard you, but I, you know, the point really is that yes, there has been a. Nobody knows a decent explanation of what transpired yesterday. It may repeat itself, but also it reaches the point of inflection. At which point of time? you would start to believe that the value has eroded to the point where value investing starts to make sense. And that's what the opportunity you're looking for. Sure, you can be scared the market, gold can go down to 22,000 rupees or 20,000 rupees and so on. But then you've got to weigh the factor that yesterday in the actual bullion market, you could not buy silver. That's a fact. What happened? They shut shop and they said, we're not going to sell you silver on the actual bullion market in India. Same is gold. Let us see what happens transpires today. There is an inherent demand. You can't run away from the demand of India, China and all these things. You may have a temporary ETF blip, which is what is what's playing. I think what is playing out is an ETF blip, heavy sales, margin trading, etc., etc., in Indian market as well. But you can't run away that there is a physical aspect of the market where you could not get silver yesterday for whatever, of course, the reasons are very clear. They didn't want to sell at a 5,000 rupee discount to what they bought at, so they shut the shop. So the physical dynamics tell us that, yes, this financial market dynamics will play out. And it's not today. In the last one month, you've seen the difference between physical gold and financial gold in ETFs was almost 3,000 rupees per 10 grams. It was already coming, it was showing. So we were all sitting with zero position and saying, this is not a healthy sign for the market. But now it's time has come to start nibbling in the market. You may not go whole hog, but you just can't call the bottom. But you know physical demand is on your side.